Hello, welcome. This is your weekly tarot reading for relationship reading. Um, and it's any relationship really. I don't know what this relationship is going to be about. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I am going to start doing the Zodiac readings again uh, from tomorrow. Uh, it's just because um, in England here right now, uh, it's school holiday for a week, only one week but I've had the children the last few days. So that's why I've just been popping on, you know, to do a collective reading yesterday and obviously today. And then, yeah, like I said, I'll do some Zodiacs tomorrow. So they are coming, uh, but that's the reason why. So anyway, um, yeah, let's see what, what the spirit of the tarot is saying, really. I'll be very interested to see what this is about. So, um, Thanks for supporting the channel and um, the comments that you put up. Thanks for booking in as well um, when you can. And um, thanks for sharing as well uh, with anyone you think that might be interested in the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it and uh, I do uh, feel, feel all of your energy and it's really lovely. So thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I don't normally say all of that at the beginning, but I just wanted to. I felt like it's a nice thing to say. So anyway, let's um, see what we get. I, um, I am actually just going to start off with an overall energy card here, actually, from this lovely deck. Um, let's just see what an overall energy is for the next week for this relationship. And we, like I said, we don't know what this relationship is about but or what relationship this is. So let's see what comes through here. Let's see, Spirit of the Tarot to show us. I am getting a bit of a message coming through, but I won't say what that is as yet. Let's see the cards first. Um, ooh, <laughs> be open to success. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You have balanced so many different priorities and you have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude that you deserve. Now, this is the Six of Wands card, um, I believe, um, or some other kind of card out of the tarot to do with success. It could even, no, it's not the world, it's not the world, it's number seven. So, um, something going to go very well. Something is going to go very well. And this could be related to different things in your life because lots of things could be mirroring each other right now. Okay, so what I'm getting shown is, um, because it says here you have very different priorities, okay? Um, and you're coming out a winner. So you see, this is the thing. I'm getting shown certain things in your life that were causing you worry, that were causing you stress, are starting to improve and come out to be very good, um, better than you would have expected, okay? Some good results in some different areas. Um, and the interesting part of it is that your relationship, this relationship is soon to reflect the same, okay? So that is what the tarot is foretelling here. So that's the overall energy success. So I'm gonna put that card up there so I can just see it. And I'm gonna start going a bit deeper now, okay. I just dropped the little pouch for the tarot deck. So, going a bit deeper. Right, the recent past. So something is being um, built up here. There's been some cooperation, okay? Now, this is a little bit of what I was getting shown. And I said to you, I'm not going to say what it is. 
until I start picking the cards. And I'm very interested to see it's the very first card. That there could be three people involved, okay? There could be three people involved in this situation. You may have two relationships on your mind and you're the other person <laughs> in the middle. Um, okay, now um, there's been cooperation. You've got the skill, okay? You've got the skill and you've got the know-how, right? Uh, you are no longer in the position you used to be in. You now know exactly how you need to do things, how you need to play things, how you need to work things. You've got the skill, you've got the uh, ability to make a success because this card is guaranteed success, okay? If you keep putting the work in, there's cooperation from others, okay? So let's see, let's pick a card to go with that one. But that's two cards already, both saying the same thing, success. You've also got mastery, okay? You've got the chariot. This is mastery of self, mastery of how you go about the things you need to do. Very interesting. Uh, what is going on? Okay, you are taking your power back. Now, as you take your power back, there will be consequences for other people. Let's have a look a bit more about that. Sorry, I just itched my face because my hair, <laughs> my hair just gets in the way. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, this five of swords then, please. Ooh. Okay, there's a masculine energy person. It does not have to be a man. Remember, I always say this. It could be any gender, any sexuality, somebody who does not want to be trumped they do not want somebody taking their place okay the other thing is this person could be quite selfish and self-centered okay um so you're dealing with somebody like that but you're taking your power back and it may have consequences on this person now the person you're thinking about is quite uh, a victim okay in life they they're seeing themselves as looking on the things that have gone wrong and they haven't been happy with things that have gone wrong in their life they've not been happy at all um now the tarot is saying that they're being handed something very emotionally fulfilling but are they going to notice this thing are they going to take this thing the tarot is saying this thing is already there this thing could be you I am feeling. Um, are they going to notice this uh, situation arising that is very good for them? It's it's made for them. Um, they don't need to do anything. They don't need to go anywhere because whatever it is they're being offered, it will come to them. The only thing they have to do is contemplate. They have to contemplate it. Okay. Um, let's see what we get for this one. I've got some crystals in the way there. I've got rose quartz and amethyst. It's very nice. They're the raw crystals, and I do like the raw, the raw crystals. Okay, so <laughs> right, um, interesting. Now, I feel interested in this actually because what I feel has happened is that you were not making healthy choices for yourself. These two cards were supposed to be for this four of cups, but it's they've both fallen on top of the three of pentacles. So I feel this is kind of the recent past. Tarot just confirming that you have felt quite stuck and you were making unhealthy choices for yourself or you were finding it hard to make the right choices. But you've got over that now. There is an epiphany happening for you uh, now or over the next few days. You're gonna know exactly what you need to do you're going to be in your mastery and you're going to be knowing that you now have the ability to deal with this situation. You've got the knowledge, the know-how, you can do it. Okay, now what's going on is there's competition, okay? And I feel this person here knows there's competition or conflict. Um, and they are they may feel conflicted about you, 
um, this person may also sense there's competition. Uh, like I said, there could be three people involved here, third party situation. Um, I feel they also may just, you know, if this is like a more of a family or a friendship thing, there could be certain issues that need to be looked at and they need to contemplate it, um, you know, all of that. Now, the tarot is showing that they have got an idea, it is challenging, they're going to do it, but they've got to be careful not to get distracted because they can get easily pulled off path. This person can be quite immature and they can get distracted and pulled off path, but at the same time, I do think this person likes a competition. I think they like a competition and they like a fight when it comes up. Um, and, uh, you know, quite frankly, they don't really need to go anywhere. Like I said, this situation has found them, weirdly. Okay, now, uh, what does this person think about you? Interesting. <laughs> they, this person is not necessarily a good influence on you, okay? Not necessarily a good influence. So I would be wary, cautious. Don't allow this person in with open arms because uh, I don't think they always have your best interests, okay? Now, let's have a look at that a bit more. Get a bit more information on that for your cups. <laughs> right, you know, I don't think they're overly happy because um, there's something going on externally that they can't control, okay? So something's going on to do with you in their life, they can't control it, <laughs> okay? And it's like, it's, it's either the fact that you're in their life or the fact that there's other stuff happening around them, but whatever it is, it's going on in the external reality and it doesn't, they don't feel too happy, okay? There is a serious uh, situation going on that they will have to deal with, okay? They're trying to act like they can deal with everything, but they can't. It's gonna break their back uh, if they carry on as they are ignoring things. Uh, they cannot ignore things. Uh, they have to deal with things. They need to put down their load and they need to really, really seriously think about, like this is about contemplation twice now, messages here. This person needs to seriously uh, contemplate what's going on and uh, sort out the mess because things are going to be changing and they're not going to be happy. Uh, they're not going to be happy because um, something is going on <laughs> to do with you and uh, they will need to deal with it. They, they, they're trying to put it off but they will, need to, they will need to deal with it. They need to deal with things. Um, how do they feel? They feel stuck. They've got this uh, energy here, but the thing is, they feel stuck, but they are healing at the same time. They, there's some sort of internal healing going on for this person, uh, but yeah, they do feel stuck. So, um, I feel spirit's working on them. Spirit is pushing them to face a situation. Spirit is putting them in a situation where they need to heal. And they've... I think there's resistance in them. I think they feel stuck. I think they've been pushing their healing away. Uh, but quite honestly, I don't think they can because there's gonna be things here that they need to sort out. Okay, um, now there's a Queen of Wands here reversed. Um, this person, it's very strange. They lack confidence. Uh, they should be very confident, but they lack confidence. Um, you know, and it's like, I don't feel they are able to just, um, you know, just move forward. It's like they're not confident about moving forward, okay? They're not confident about moving forward, but they should be, but they're not, okay? Um, now, <laughs> they, if they had it their way, right, if they had it their way, how they want to move forward is just by not giving, okay? If they had it their way, they would maintain um, control. Uh, they would basically just stay as they are, pretty stuck, and they would just kind of want things to go their way so that they don't have to face stuff. They don't Because they don't want to deal with stuff. Without Ten of Wands, 
um, and that four of cups, I know this person doesn't really want to deal with anything. Uh, they kind of just really want to float along with life, um, not really moving forward. Uh, I don't think they're choosing to heal themselves. I think they're being forced by spirit to start healing. And if they had it their way, life would continue to move forward and they wouldn't have to really give very much. Um, you know, uh, quite cheeky. This person's quite cheeky. They'll see what they can get out of you or even get out of other people w without having to really give anything. You know, and cold. You know, they, they would quite like to move forward being in control, but at the same time being quite cold and not really giving very much. Quite cheeky. Okay. Now, um... is hidden that you don't see the world freaking hell okay so this is interesting the world success the first card was about success and i said to you the three of pentacles the second card was showing me that you will achieve what you want you will get what you want because you're going to be successful because you've got the know-how this is what you don't see. You are going to be successful. That's the tarot is speaking to us about this relationship. Thank you. Really, really is. It's showing a lot here. Uh, a lot. So let's just see about this world card. What else we need to know? <laughs> oh, blimey. Ugh. Um, okay, so, um, success. Now, what you need to do, <laughs> what you need to do, right, is um, get over disappointments. You need to come to a place in your mind and your heart where you're at peace. You're at peace with the disappointment of this person because they're just, they're playing with you. This person plays with you, right? But no more because you're in your mastery now. You've got the experience, you've got the knowledge of how to deal with all of this that you didn't have before. If you'd been in situations before with this person or even other people, you are way more knowledgeable than you used to be. And uh, the tarot is saying, that if you let go of your disappointments, if you pull your energy back, if you just um, focus on yourself and you say to them, look, do you know what? Um, I'm not doing this, you know? You know, you don't need to necessarily say it, but you can come up with excuses. You can be silent, you know? Uh, you know, don't tell them, don't give them all the information because that's not really conscious, you know? That's kind of ego, wanting to overshare stuff. Um, you know, I'll show you what the card is. You, you know, you are basically in a powerful position. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you have the golden coin in your hand. So you are, you know, you are uh, very valuable. And you're very stable. And you are, how can I put it? Um, you know, you don't need anybody. You don't actually need anybody. You're very healthy here. You're very in your power um, and um, solid. So quite honestly, reject, reject and say no. Um, any feeling of um, feeling that you are stuck or <laughs> is an illusion of the mind, okay? Uh, that Ignore all illusions of the mind because you are in a very powerful position here. Uh, very powerful. So, um, you know, what the, what's hidden from you that you do not see is that you are going to be successful. Um, you're starting to get that feeling and that sense that you will be successful. Um, and the way you, you can do this is by uh, not engaging with this person's games because they are trying to play mind games. They are trying to maintain power. This person does not want to be trumped. And the fact that you are now taking your power back is going to have consequences for them. Um, and you're not going to play this game of them kind of, uh, you know, 
making some kind of game out of things. Uh, you're not going to um, make unhealthy choices for yourself anymore, you know? And um, if they're stuck and they can't make their mind up, that's up to them because you're not going to allow this kind of uh, coldness in your life um, or this somebody who's just not giving, you know, it's, you're just not gonna allow it really. Um, so basically, you know, if they're not confident moving forward and making a decision and they're not confident in giving to you, the tarot here is saying, if you pull back because you now know your worth, um, you will be successful because really they do want what you've got. Um, they do want you in their life and they're just trying to see really what they can screw out of you if you want the honest choice of words so um right now the advice from spirit you have to accept the unknown okay the moon um you have to accept the unknown right now you don't know exactly how this situation is going to resolve itself and um you know at times it may affect you However, you have to work with your spirit guides, you have to work with spirit, you have to work with your psychic intuitions, and you have to know what's in, you have to start tuning in to your core vibration. You have to start tuning in to your true self and each little step that you need to take that's right for you to bring you back into the self, back into spirit. So, you know, some of the steps you're gonna be taking are not towards this person, they're actually towards yourself. Um, do intuitively what you need to do to make the healthiest decisions for yourself. Um, and you will be following your psychic guidance here. Um, you know, and but, but things will end up being revealed. Because with the moon card, things are always revealed. Um, yeah, you know, you've got to be careful not to make unwise choices. Don't make unwise choices. Okay. Now, um, what else? Um, it's about the fact that it is an unknown path at the moment with this person. Um, you have to follow your intuitive guidance. You have to tune into spirit more and more. Um, and you have to um, start connecting out with other people who you know, are more healthy for you. You know, if you're gonna have connections with other people, make it your soul family, make it friends that you resonate with, make it people that make you feel good, make wise choices for yourself. Don't make unwise or reactive type of choices right now. Okay, the outcome card is, um, you know, it is best not to take action right now and it is best not to take communication, okay? Because Ace of Swords is about action and communication and the tarot is saying the timing's not right. So if you were tempted to kind of speak to this person and tell them what you're thinking or what you're planning, don't. Don't do that at the moment. Hold back. Uh, you're going to be successful anyway and you need to spend the time at the moment... Um, really connecting into the self and, um, you know, not really play, engaging in a game with this person. Okay, and uh, the timing will come where it is the right time to speak, but it's not now. It's not the right time to make a decision now. It's not the right time to communicate and it's not the right time to take action. Uh, right now, it's the right time to pull your energy back and really learn more about your core vibration um, and um, know that you're in much more in your mastery and you've got a lot more knowledge about what it is you're doing. Um, you know, there's definitely a resistance uh, to letting go, okay? Because the temperance card is about letting go of things um, so that you can heal, right? Um, now... I don't think either of you are ready to let go of each other. Uh, the tarot is saying this person's not going anywhere and you're not going anywhere. But at the same time, we're not in a position right now to make any decisions. Let's have a look at the Lover's Oracle. It's quite a long reading, isn't it? Um, hoo -hoo -hoo. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. There's definitely a push 
from the tarot here telling you, you know, from spirit telling you to pull back. Um, not, I'm not saying permanently, but I'm saying temporarily. Don't get involved in uh, feeling like you have to rush this process with this person. Um, don't play games with them. Uh, don't uh, be reactive to them. You know, they're trying to see what they can get out of you by doing the least amount possible. So don't abide it. You're taking your power back. You're in your mastery. You know your value. Pull back. Keep them there. Um, but if you pull back and you don't engage with their games, you're going to be successful. Because I think this person, you know, is uh, trying to play with you. And actually, I think they really, they do like you. Um, but they're testing, they're testing your strength to see, are you going to go back to your old ways? Are you going to, um, cave in and sort of like, um, you know, I don't know, in a way sort of like, uh, go back to being dominated by them, shall we say. They're just trying to see, um, partly because they aren't very confident and they don't really there's some healing they need to do and they're sort of they're not confident about how they want to move forward so you're better off leaving this situation a bit uh that would be the wisest thing to do and just be careful not to make any sort of rash decisions because you feel frustrated by this person you know just stay solid disengage if you have to a little bit um this person's not going anywhere, you're not going anywhere, but the timing's not right for an overall decision at the moment. Let's have a look at the um, other cards I've got here. <laughs> oh, now, okay. What they're thinking here, you're too good for me, I don't deserve you. <laughs> you know, they need to sort their head out, really. They do need to sort their head out. Um, they want to see you, uh, they want to see you, um, they, like I said, they, they have got a lack of confidence here in, in their own healing and they feel stuck and they've got a lack of confidence in how they kind of, um, you know, in, in terms of moving things forward, they haven't got the confidence and there's something here about, you know, they don't feel good enough or they don't feel like they deserve you. It probably just because they're, they're not in the best place you know they're not in a healthy place let's put it that way but they want to see you <laughs> i'm not going to pick any more cards but this person okay um yeah i think they you know they're sort of their ego's playing with you a little bit you need to pull back you need to let this person sort themselves out you stay in your core vibration um, they do want to meet up with you. I I think you're going to be successful if you pull back. The more you try to communicate with this person and push the situation or hurry it or force it or play silly games, it, it sort of will actually make things worse. So create space. Uh, attend to your own growth and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, let this person kind of go a bit... You know, this person needs to dig a bit deeper, really, and actually think about how much they do actually value you. And then they, you know, once they can figure that out, then they'll be able to step up properly. Um, so that's the message, okay? I'm not going to go on any longer. I feel like I could go on and on and on. Um, but you're dealing here with somebody that really likes you, but they just need to kind of, you know, they actually need to put the effort in. And that's really what it's about. So, um... That's my advice. Well, it's not my advice, it's from Spirit. Um, if you do like the reading, please do uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like a one to tarot more specific for your situation, do contact me to book in. I'm here. And um, I'm sending you lots of love, really. Lots of peace across Gaia, wherever you are, for, um, you know, the next few days. <laughs>